Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel for another unboxing, view and test. Today I have this TP-Link tri-band Wi-Fi 7 router, Archer BE550, with blazing fast speeds, 3.6 times faster, ultra smooth Wi-Fi, lower latency with minimal buffering, far-reaching coverage, broader 360 degree Wi-Fi, full multi-G connectivity, 5 2.5G ports. Wi-Fi 7, like never before. Enhaged security, easy mesh compatible, VPN client support, great compatibility, higher capacity for more devices, smart devices and more. So let's open the box to find out more about this product and how we can use it. I want to test Wi-Fi coverage, internet speed and transfer some data between my devices. That is the most important when you are buying that type of router. The power adapter with an output 12 volt 3.3 amp 39.6 watts power consumption. The Ethernet cable, flat cable with a length 1.5 meters. I like it. Data cable CAT 6A. And we have in this envelope. Quick installation guide and we have in this paper scan for the tether app and you can write the Wi-Fi password. Reset pin, the tool. And there is the router. Glossy. Minimalist design with clean lines and robust casing. Ventilation. Silicon pads. It will stay just like that. I like it. TP Link logo. At the front we have the WPS button. Press and hold the button for 2 seconds to turn on or off the wireless function of your router. Press the LED button to turn on or off the LED of your router. Here. And at the back you can connect the power. The on off button, the reset, you can use this tool, USB 3 port for connecting USB storage devices to the router, one 2.5G one port and another four 2.5G LAN ports with 5G aggregation speed, suitable for gaming computers, NAS, game servers, drive your devices to peak performance. At the left and at the right of the router we have six high gain antennas with beam forming for broader coverage, multi-link operation, faster speed and lower latency with tri-band Wi-Fi 7, supports 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz and 6 GHz, enjoy smooth 8K streaming, VR, AR, video conferencing, online gaming and high speed downloading. Of course I will test all that, more or less the download and upload uh, speed my internet speed and of course I will transfer some files. I like it. It is small, compact, definitely it will fit at any corner of my home. So let's plug it in. The cable length it is 1.5 meters and start the setup with a tether up. On my next video I will show you how you can set up uh, this router from the browser. I have connected the Ethernet cable at the one port, tether up, some other devices from TP-Link, add a device, add a router, LEDs are solid on, 
Scan the QR code on your device's product label to join the network. Connect. Archer has been found. Set up the device. Connect the router to your modem, already done that with the Ethernet cable. Restart your modem. Modem is restarted. You need to set the device password. And next. Connect your device to the Internet. Dynamic IP. You can choose one of these Internet connection types. If you are not sure what connection type to select, choose Auto Detect. And done. Advanced settings. And you have these options. Port mode. You can choose Internet or IPTV for the LAN 1, LAN 2 to LAN 4. Mode, Custom, Bridge or ISP Profile. MAC address, do not change or use Custom. Next, set your wireless network name and password. Test network. Smart Connect is enabled, combines the 2.4 and 5 year heads bands into a single network. I will turn it off. I like my networks to be separately. Later I will rename the Wi-Fi networks and all my devices, about 55 devices, they will be connected to this uh, router. Set your 6 year heads wireless network. Keep your router updated. You can update the time. Enable auto update if you want. And here we have all the Wi Fi names and the passwords for each network. Apply. I like the LEDs on the front. You can get some information when it's rebooting or there is no network. Connect to your Wi Fi. You can copy the password for each network. Go to your Wi Fi settings of your smartphone and connect. I found Archer BE 550. Thank you, Alexa. Congratulations. Finish. All the devices are connected, working well. Tap at the icon of the router. We can see the CPU usage and the memory. Network status online. The same in here. Clients. 52 devices are connected. Wow. <laughs> And you can choose the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks, the 5 GHz, 6 GHz, at this moment there is no devices connected, and the wired networks. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and offline clients. So many. Choose one of these devices. You can see the download and upload with a diagram, traffic usage today. day, by week, so many informations. Tap at other devices. Total traffic, join it, speed limit. You can turn it on. 110 custom for the download and for the upload. Family member Add, high priority, enable QoS, device isolation, enable anyway if you want, and you can block this device. Block it, delete, or unblock. The same thing you can do for any of these devices. You have full control of your router. Traffic usage, the same here. You can check for all these devices, day and week. Report, network, you can scan, check other devices, parental control, 
You can create profile, show more. Security. Scan details. Device isolation is disabled. You can add devices. Choose one of these devices or more than one. Router security, wireless security, it is about the password and the wireless encryption. Family, get started. I don't care about that. More. Wi Fi settings. You can uh, enable the Smart Connect or not. I like to have uh, two or three networks. For this router, three networks. It is a tri-band. You can rename the network, change the password, security, you can choose one of these, hide the network, mode, channel width, and channel. And of course you can switch it off. The same and the 5 GHz. I'm just showing you what you can do with this router. What is your options from the settings. 6 GHz, the same in here, rename, change the password, security, hide the network, mode, MLO network, enable, you can rename, change the password, advance, security, the band, hide the network if you want, report, again, block list, QoS, enable QoS, download bandwidth and upload, set total bandwidth, set up a VPN on your router, subscription, Quick setup, we have seen that, internet connection, IPv4, IPv6, and you can enable. Guest network, you can turn on if you want, set a password. IoT network. You can switch it on, rename, set the password, security, the same and the 5 GHz. Easy mess. Enable Easy mess to automatically synchronize the wireless network settings from the main router. Ok, no need. Network optimization. You can scan, analyze, you can stop. Perfect. Network diagnostics. You can run testing. Perfect. Operation mode, wireless router, current and access point mode. Advanced settings. IPTV slash VLAN. You can enable that. Bridge. You can choose. Internet or IPTV for the LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3 and LAN 4. INGMB proxy, snooping and version. Live. VPN server, that is new settings from TP-Link. Open VPN disabled, you can enable and adjust. The VPN port, subnet, netmask, client access. Export uh, config file, P 
PPTP. L2TP IPsec. WireGuard VPN. Advanced. You can copy DNS, enable, disable. Peer list. VPN client, you can add device isolation, add devices, LED control, you can switch off the LED control or enable the night mode and adjust the hour and the minute. Manager, system, system time, manage password, reboot schedule. Auto update, disable, enable. You can reboot the device or factory default restore. So many settings to adjust to your needs. But definitely, if you choose to adjust the settings from the web browser, you have more options. I will show you on my next video. Now let's run some tests. Whether you are streaming in Ultra HD, gaming competitively, or managing a smart home like mine that runs 55 devices 24-7, handles multiple IoT devices with ease thanks to improved network capacity, 4K surveillance cameras, NAS, plugs, smart lights, security alarms, repeaters and more, connected and running without any issues. The Archer BE550 ensures a seamless and reliable experience. Delivers high-speed connectivity for seamless business operations. The TP-Link Archer is a cutting-edge router that harnesses the latest Wi-Fi 7 technology to deliver blazing fast speeds improve its connectivity and enhance its capacity for modern homes and offices. With support of tri-band frequencies and advanced networking features, it is a perfect for high-demand internet usage, including gaming, 4K, 8K streaming and smart home setups. That's the TP-Link Archer Tri-Band Wi-Fi router. With its blazing fast speeds, Tri-Band connectivity and advanced features like Wi-Fi 7 technology, this router is perfect for gamers, streamers and smart homes. Whether you are looking to future-proof your network or enhance your current setup, the router delivers exceptional performance. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews, smart home tips and network solutions. Thanks for watching and as always, stay connected, stay ahead and I'll see you in the next video.